Hi everybody, today we've got round one, which is also the semi-finals of the 2016 Democratic primary spinner battle. Last week we wrapped up the Republican side, and I've had some requests to do the Democrats, so there's only going to be two rounds, but we're going to have the winner of this battle face off against the Republican winner, which was Jim Gilmore. They're going to go at it in a theoretical general election spinner battle. So let's get into the candidates. For this, I got on Wikipedia, I looked at the date they announced their candidacy, and I draw the line at anybody that did not at least stay in until the primaries. So there's only three of them. The first to announce was number one, Hillary Clinton, former Secretary of State as well as U.S. Senator from New York. The next to announce was number two, that is Bernie Sanders, U.S. Senator from Vermont as well as former Mayor of Burlington, Vermont. And the last one in this race was number three, Martin O'Malley, former Governor of Maryland as well as former Mayor of Baltimore. So that's a little bit of background, and I know a lot of you already know how this process goes, but real quick, we're using the 2016 electoral map. We're not using delegates. It's way easier to fill out the map and do the commentary, and I'm going to fill out the map the exact same way I do every time, just for the sake of consistency. The rules are simple. Whoever's number comes up wins the state, and the lowest total is going to be eliminated. You could definitely say it's random and it's pointless. I completely get all that, but this is just a distraction from regular politics. A lot of times that happens to be more entertaining so maybe we'll see something we haven't seen before but with that background out of the way i think we could get into the spinning so feel free to make your picks now you've got a one in three chance so sit back and relax put on some music grab some pop tarts whatever's going to put you in the mood for this battle so let's get into the first state that's alaska that has three electoral votes here's the first spin and we've got number one it's going to hillary she's on the map first let's go to hawaii here comes another four votes Number two, Bernie. He's in on the map. Let's go to Washington. 12 electoral votes. And looks like a number three. All three candidates in on the map. Martin O'Malley is out on top. Here comes Oregon. Seven electoral votes. And we've got a two. Bernie picking up seven. Let's do California. There's a ton of votes here. It doesn't mean you're going to win this thing, but it's definitely a great cushion to have early on. Let's do the spin. 55 votes. That's a three. It's going to Martin O'Malley. Let's go to Nevada. We've got six. Six more EVs. And that is also going to M.O. Martin O'Malley. Let's take a look at Idaho. Here comes four votes. And we've got another number three. O'Malley with another four and three in a row. So far, O'Malley, who definitely has the lowest name ID in this race, he's sitting at 77. Let's keep it going. Let's do Utah. Here comes six more votes. And that's another one for O'Malley. He's got four in a row. Hillary and Bernie are going to have to start working the spinner pretty soon. Let's do Arizona. Eleven votes. There's somebody other than O'Malley. That's a one. It's going back to Hillary. Montana is next. Three votes. And number one again. Another one for Hillary. Wyoming. That's next. Only three electoral votes. Let's go into Martin O'Malley. He's picking up another three. Let's do Colorado. Nine votes. Three again for O'Malley. New Mexico has five electoral votes. Here's the spin. And finally, Bernie Sanders picks up another state. That's his third. Let's do North Dakota. Three votes. Anybody want these? It's going to be O'Malley. How about South Dakota? Another three. And close to the line for Hillary. She's picking up three more. Let's do Nebraska at large. Two electoral votes. And that's a three. O'Malley hits 100. Let's do Nebraska's first. Here comes one electoral vote. And that's a two. That's going to Bernie. Nebraska's second. Here's the spin. Bernie. Two in a row, only two electoral votes to show for it. Let's do Nebraska's third. That is number three, O'Malley, claiming the last vote out of Nebraska. Here's Kansas, six votes. We've got two. It's going to Bernie Sanders. Oklahoma's next. Seven votes. And that's a number one. That's going to Hillary. Next state, it's Texas. Ton of votes, 38 at stake. Right now, this is shaping up to be a battle between Hillary and Bernie. Sound familiar? Let's do the spin. Here it is. That's one. 
Hillary picking up 38. Plenty of time left. Let's do Minnesota. Here comes 10. That is going to Martin O'Malley. Next, Iowa. We've got six. And those six are coming to Hillary. Next state, it's Missouri. We've got 10 more. Anybody want these? That's going to be Hillary Clinton. Next, it's Arkansas. We've got six. And those six are going to go to Martin O'Malley, number three. How about Louisiana? Down in the Gulf. Here comes the spin for eight electoral votes. And that is going to Martin O'Malley. Now we can start heading more into the Rust Belt. We've got Wisconsin. Ten electoral votes. Which way is it going to go? It's going to Martin O'Malley, number three. Illinois, let's do the spin. 20 votes, that's a lot. And that's one. It's going to Hillary. Right now, Bernie is falling out of it. Let's do Michigan. We've got 16. Can Bernie get back into it? There's a two for Bernie. Picks up 16. He's got to do a lot more of that. Let's keep it going. Let's do Indiana. 11 votes. It's going back to Hillary. She's got another 11. Let's do Kentucky. Here comes eight votes. Number one, another one for Hillary. She's closing in on O'Malley at this point. Tennessee is next. We've got 11 here. And that's a three. That is going to Martin O'Malley. Down in the deep south, we've got Mississippi. That's next. Six votes. Bernie, he's going to be picking those up. Let's do Alabama. Who's going to snag these nine electoral votes? That's going to be another one for Bernie. Now we can go down to Florida. We've got 29 votes. Bernie looking for a two. Let's do the spin. Can he get it? No, that's a one. It's going to Hillary. And all of a sudden, Hillary Clinton has surpassed Martin O'Malley for first place. Still a lot of votes to give out. Let's do Georgia. 16 votes. And that is going to Martin O'Malley. Now O'Malley back on top. South Carolina's next. Here comes nine votes in the Palmetto State. That's a two. It's going to Bernie Sanders. North Carolina. That's the next spin. Here it is. We've got a three. It's going to O'Malley. Now we can jump up to Ohio. We've got 18 votes. And those are coming to right on the line, but number one, Hillary Clinton getting Ohio. West Virginia is next. We've got five votes. Super Red State. Looks like it's going to Bernie Sanders. Next, Maine at large. Two votes. Those two are coming to Martin O'Malley, number three. Now we've got Maine's first congressional district. And that is coming to number three. Again, right on the line, but going to O'Malley. Maine's second. Last vote for Maine. And that's a clean sweep for O'Malley in Maine. Next, it's New Hampshire. Four votes at stake. And those are going to O'Malley again. Now we've got Vermont. This is Bernie Sanders' home state. Bernie trailing pretty bad. He almost has to win out at this point. He can't really afford to lose anything. Let's do the spin. Here it is. The Green Mountain State is coming to number one, Hillary Clinton. The next state, it's New York. Hillary was U.S. Senator from here. Bernie, gotta put up a two, or I don't think he's gonna have enough to get to the next round. Here's the spin. And that is not a two. That's a number one. Hillary wins her home state. And I don't think Bernie is gonna be making it to the finals. Let's keep going to Massachusetts. Here's 11 votes. And that's three. It's going to Martin O'Malley. Connecticut is next. We've got lucky seven. And those are going to go to Bernie. He's over 70 now. Let's do Rhode Island. Four more votes. Another one for Bernie. He's at 80. Let's do New Jersey. Here comes 14 votes. And that's going back to Martin O'Malley as O'Malley crosses 200. Here comes Delaware. Three votes. Who's going to get him? Number one. Hillary, she's also over 200. Bernie's out of this thing, but we do have an intense battle for first place. But the next spin is Martin O'Malley's home state of Maryland. We've got 10 votes. Who is going to get him? And that's right between. It's going to Bernie Sanders. So Bernie with another 10 late in the game. Let's do DC. Here comes three votes. That is number two. It's another one for Bernie. 
Pennsylvania. That's the second to last spin. Here it is. That's a one. Going to Hillary. She passes O'Malley for first place. O'Malley does have enough in the last spin of Virginia to regain first place from Hillary. Final spin. Here it is. Who's going to get him? And that is two. That's going to Bernie Sanders. Bernie crosses 100 on the final spin. And in first place is Hillary Clinton, the actual eventual winner with 222 electoral votes. Martin O'Malley, a dominant second place with 210. And at the bottom, we've got Bernie Sanders with only 106. So not Bernie's night at all. We're going to have to say goodbye to him for the finals. And next week, it's going to be Hillary and O'Malley head-to-head -head in the finals. You're going to have to figure out who you're going to root for. But that wraps up round one in the semifinals for this 2016 battle. So let me know in the comments. Are you sad to see a weak performance from Bernie in the first round? And who's your pick for the finals? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join if you'd like to support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.